Hello guys, in this video, I will tell you how you can easily develop the user management system with Python Flask and MySQL. Guys, develop this system using the Flask Micro Framework using the Python and with MySQL DB. We'll have the demo of our system. So, the first page will be the login page. Uh, actually, this system will be only accessible by the administrator user, means admin user who can uh, access using the login and then can see the list of all users means manage the users and users can edit the user information change their password delete users so all things all functionality will be handled by done by administrator users so let's uh, check the demo the functionality that i've already created for the system so let's uh, check it so for uh, now we'll log in using administrator user here is adam at webdam.com and password one two three and login so now i have access the system using the administrator user the administrator user can see the list here is the list of all user like john smith adam williams and adam so th three uh, user there the admin can also view the details of user can edit the details of user can change the password and also can delete the users the administrator will be also able to add new users here can add a new user register new user and also there is a logout so can another user can log in to access the, this section so let's first uh, see the database design so actually here uh, we have already created a user system database and have one table user so the structure of the table is user id that is a primary auto increment username email password role uh, the uh, field type is enum here is as uh, whether the user is can be user and admin two types uh, whether user is user type or administrator and the country so this is the structure of our table and the data will be stored like this so now uh, we will move to coding so let's start implementing this so actually here uh, here is the our system the directory structure is actually here we have already created a directory you can see uh, user management system python and the uh, file structure is the app.py python file this is the main file in which i have implemented all the functionality to display that to render the templates add delete it everything will be handled in this uh, python file and actually uh, we are developing the system using flask so here is we, we have created a templates directory in which we store the all template that is used in our system so now let's start uh, implement so now we will uh, discuss the app.py actually here is our py file uh, here we are importing the flask module actually you need, uh, when you start developing the system you need to install the uh, flask module that you use to render the templates also we are using the function like render templates request redirect your point session that's needed for handling the functionality for our system also we are in, importing the mysql module flask mysql db actually that's needed as we are using the mysql database so we need this to interact with the mysql database also importing the mysql db cursor to interact with the database also uh, importing the i for handling the regular expression so these are the uh, modules that we needed to implement our system now we will move uh, next step here actually using i uh, we have already imported the flask module so here creating the flask app here we are creating the flag then we are passing the app configuration details for connecting to to mysql database here we are passing the details like app.config mysql host mysql user mysql password mysql db for connecting to mysql database also passing the app.security key this is the anything like number uh, string for security reason so this is the uh, configuration details for connecting to mysql db also here uh, passing this to the mysql module that already that we have already in, uh, imported 
so here we have object of mysql that we will use to inject with the database so now this is the uh, modules required module that we are importing and the uh, details that uh, for connecting to mysql database now we'll move to the functionality so the first page is uh, here in our system is login page so here we have uh, we are checking the root i have the root login and then the root is login that here is implemented the login function here uh, function is created using the diff def key keyword and the function is implementing if it is called without submitting the form the random method render underscore template method will be called with the login the html template to display the login page the login template is here here is our login template this is the call here in a login dot html template we have a form here method post and also we are displaying message your message if any and also here input type email and input type password for login page here is the login page so when uh, this is the call if there is a login then login dot html will be called when the login actually when the login page like adam and when we log in using a user like and password when we submit this like what happened actually here we are checking the form login form submission and then we are getting the form values and then connecting to the mysql database and then execute the query select as if i'm using the email and password and here email and password as a placeholder pass and then get the record user if user record exist means uh, uh, we are successfully get the if get the record user record then login successfully was login failed so here we are displaying if user login successful then and role is admin then we are getting the user details as historian the session and returning the message logged in successfully and return later redirect to the user otherwise we are having message like please interconnect email address and login uh, login dot html so it is where it is going to users actually you can see that here is users means user template is loaded means redirected so where is users so users is here you can see when it is redirected it is uh, going to the root users and uh, here checking the logged in session and then after connecting to the mysql database we could select query and get the uh, records and load the user dot html template so now we see the user dot html template here is our user html here we are actually you can see we are passing here the users details so here is users details and we are loop through to display the users records so you can see here the users record so this is the user listing page actually so this is the user listing form here so now uh, we have functionality to view the user details so you can see when the view there is a view url here you can see the i the root view url and checking the root uh, view and then call the function view and if you get logged in then we get the view user id and connecting the user and then get, getting that users record and passing to view dot html so you can see when uh, we have clicked on any users view then it will display the record details so here it, it, this is display you can check the view dot html here the user details is displayed here user dot name user dot email role country you can see this so now when click on edit so you can see the edit so when click the edit from uh, edit then edit method is called uh, now check the edit method so here is edit after root or edit then the edit method is called here is getting the edit, edit user id edit user id and get the that is the details and pass to the edit dot html template you can see the edit dot html HTML template and 
the value is displayed in into the edit form here the edit form if i see here the values are displayed and when click some uh, save the values is save means updated to the database here is you can see the cursor attitude we are executing the update queries to update the user details and this is the major message user updated so as the change password if you click on change password the change password is checked here you can see the ch change password and the change password page will be loaded using the change pass change pass dot html template and when it is uh, submitted then the password is updated in the user table here you can see the functionality here implemented and the change pass template is here you can see the form that have a input type uh, password with the password and confirm password so now and then uh, actually we have discussed all the view we edit change and also the delete if if, if delete click if delete button click the delete ui is called and checking uh, if logged in session logged in and then getting that delete user id and then delete from uh, executing the query to find user by user id and record deleted and detected to the users and users can already we have discussed that here is the return so we have discussed the user listing user view user id change password delete and now we discuss the id user when the id user click the register you are called so here we, we will see the register url here is the register url and uh, if form is not submitted then the register function will only load the register.html you can see the register.html uh, template is loaded when this form is submitted when this form submitted the functionality here is checking the form values and then getting the form values and then connect to the database and select the user record using the email checking if user is already exist with that email if, if it is already exit then we are not going to insert a duplicate record if it's not exist then we will insert the record and display the myself new user created so this is the functionality for registering the user so here here the functionality you, we can check this like some anything we can htn web dam dot com uh, password really anything and country anything and click the new user created you can see here and the functionality the, the record will be added here you can see the, the new record is added here so and we can see the list of records so this is the functionality actually actually uh, this is the functionality here we have discussed uh, uh, user listing my managing the user like view edit change password edit password adding the user so admin can use everything in this system user management system and can i add the new records so now we'll discuss the code once again so here we are importing the flask module flask mysql db that's needed to install before importing this also here creating the flask app then passing the configuration details for connecting mysql database then here getting the mysql object then checking the rule for login and implementing the login function and also here is logout actually uh, when we click the logout then the logout your root called and the logout function called and then the session reset here and it have to login page to login again and here is we are loading the user listing also here viewing the particular user details and changing the password here change password change also deleting the user register the new user and edit the user so this is the entire functionality for our management system that we have developed using the python class and mysql guys i hope you have enjoyed this tutorial uh, it's very interesting you can try this at your end so guys don't forget to like and share this video and also subscribe our channel thank you